Hello, I'm Stephen Cook with Cooksaw Manufacturing, and I wanted to uh, do another video today and talk about some things that sometimes we have customers write in and ask us questions. We appreciate that, by the way. It gives us uh, things we can answer, things that, that you're thinking about out there that we don't always necessarily think about here at the, at the factory. So uh, we like uh, when you send in questions. But this, this particular question was about whether we should leave our band blade tensioned overnight or not. And this has been a, a question for really a long time. Um, and our experience is that it doesn't hurt to leave it tensioned overnight or maybe even a few days. And I'll give you some reasoning behind uh, why that is. This one, uh, we just came out to this mill here. This is an MP32 that has 19 inch band wheels and we've, we've left it tensioned setting here. And our experience in, and in talking with customers, uh, we, we have found that it does is not detrimental to leave that. I'm, but I'm gonna put some caveats in here in just a minute about different types of wheels and how that may affect it. I mentioned that this MP32 is a, um, is a 19 inch band wheel and that, that's what it is. Well, the first thing that comes into my mind is uh, the diameter when we actually have a blade rolled up for shipping uh, that would go on this mill. This is a 14 foot blade. And as I, as I measure this, we're 18 inches right there. So this thing is being shipped in a smaller curve than, uh, than it is on the mill. Now, obviously when you're on the mill, you have tension. So that comes into play. So, uh, you know, you could, you could think about how that would come into effect. When we unfold our blade, obviously you see this comes into a nice uh, round circle, so to speak and it shouldn't have kinks and bumps in it. Sometime after you run them, they will, and that doesn't necessarily mean it won't run, but it does, uh, if, if it's got kinks and bends all in it, uh, you know, that's detrimental to your blade. But I can, kink, I can close this down even smaller, you know, uh, I'll pull my tape measure off here and measure this, and we've got here is a nine inch uh, circle. I just brought that too. But when I let that go, I don't have a kink there in that blade. I'll just try to let it go. And I don't know if you can see that well or not, but it, it's, it didn't bend that blade. Now, if I bend it on down, I can bend it. But my point is on a 19 inch wheel, and even uh, while the blade is in shipping, the, the bend of that size is not detrimental because this is made of a carbon steel, which is a spring steel. Also, uh, the blades, because they have carbon in, they're able to be hardened. And uh, most blades are hardened uh, more than, than uh, 42 Rockwell nowadays. And so different manufacturers do different things. Sometimes in years past, this may have been more of, a, of an issue as well because uh, they, were, they had their Rockwell in 32 to 35 Rockwell and that was called a flex back and it was very flexible. But the softer it was, the more it would take on a bend. And so uh, through the years, uh, they've, you've probably heard some people call them hardback even the blades are harder and that makes them stiffer but it also causes that spring it's able to go back to its original shape just like a spring uh, one other thing that that i want to mention uh, about this on a steel wheel we use steel wheels and sometimes people uh, say different things about that but our purpose is because it's more true we've talked about that in other videos uh, but in fact a, a, another big thing that comes into play on a steel wheel, leaving it tensioned up is not uh, detrimental because the steel doesn't give. And that is something that is not good on even a urethane and particularly a belted wheel. Because when you press this at 16 to 18 uh, uh, thousand inch pounds into the curve here and over there, then that does act like a tire. A steel wheel is not a tire, but uh, a rubberized uh, insert uh, is a type of a tire. They even call them tires sometimes. Some, some people have in the past. And if it flattens this uh, and, and makes it smash even into the wheel more on just half of this wheel across here where the blade's touching it while it's tensioned up, and then you roll, then you get the effect of that wheel on your car that's out around. That's not a good assessment if you've got a steel wheel. It doesn't take any other shape. But if you've got rubber inserts and you leave it Attention. Then, in that case, 
uh, you will get vibration. If you go from, from a part of it over here that wasn't being pressed all night or for a few days, and this side that is, that's going to give you some differences. And that is a key reason why our steel wheels are a better wheel, uh, one of the key reasons. But um, because of that, then you get vibrations as this turns around, and that will shorten your blade life. Vibrations are a big culprit, culprit to, uh, to killing your blade life. And, uh, we, we preach that a lot, but this is one of the causes that can come from that. If you have a, uh, a rubberized wheel, then I would suggest you take that off, take that tension off, because that could come into play. But other than that, because of the, the spring steel, uh, to leave it tensioned overnight uh, is not detrimental. Uh, certainly, I wouldn't leave it that way for weeks or months, but uh, uh, that has been our experience, and that's what makes sense, and that's why uh, we will promote that it is not detrimental to uh, leave it tension overnight. Uh, so I hope this has been informational. I think it is some real good common sense. That's what we try to live by here at Cooksaw and, uh, and give you products that make good sense and help you make more money.